very many scriptural expressions of praise and worship to God. Here are some more to look at. Standing is an expression of respect and expression of praise to God. 2 Chronicles 5 verse 12, 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 6 and several other scripture talks about the Levites and the priests in the presence of God during worship standing. Standing is a posture of respect. You know, when an elder per, elderly person enters the room or interacts with us, we stand up as a mark of respect. Another expression of worship is to sing in the spirit. The Bible talks about praying in tongues and singing in tongues. In the book of Acts, we see at the day of Pentecost, when the disciples were praying in tongues, when they were speaking in tongues, people gathered around and it said that they are declaring the praises of God in the languages that they knew. So praying in tongues is actually praising God. So you can pray in tongues and you can sing in tongues. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 15, Paul writes and he says, What is the conclusion then? I will pray with the Spirit and I will also pray with the understanding. I will sing with the Spirit and I will also sing with the understanding. So go ahead and sing in the Spirit. It is an expression of worship and praise to God. Dancing is also a very valid and scriptural expression of our praise to God. When do we dance? You know, when, we're there, when we are not inhibited, when we are celebrating, when we are joyful. Uh, when we dance before the Lord, we are not dancing to impress someone. We don't, it's not like choreographed steps or anything, but we are just dancing out of our hearts and our bodies, you know, just lose that restraint before God. Now, dancing inherently does not or may not have any value in itself, but in the spirit, there is a release and we are free to express our praise and our worship to God. Kneeling, bowing and prostration is also, are also very valid expressions. When we kneel before God, when we bow down before Him, when we prostrate before Him, valid expressions of worship. Psalm 95 and verse 6 says, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. So in that one verse, he talks about several postures of worship. He's talking about bowing down. He's talking about kneeling down. So these are some more expressions of praise and worship. Standing, dancing, kneeling, bowing, and also singing in the spirit. So I want to again encourage you and inspire you, go beyond the norm of what you are comfortable with. Maybe it's just singing, maybe so far it's just lifting your hands up. But go beyond that, dance before the Lord in worship. Stand before Him, sing in the Spirit and worship Him. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the liberty that we have in your presence. We pray that you will just take away all things that restrain us and hold us back and enable us to be truly be ourselves in your presence, God. Enable us to worship you in spirit and in truth and give expression to that worship in singing, in standing, in dancing, in singing in the spirit and so on. God, we pray that you will take us on this journey. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.